Hello friends, my name is Biran and guys this is my channel Techy Biran. So if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and also share with your friends. If you are already subscribed please suggest your friend to subscribe so that I will get motivated to upload more and more videos and obviously uh, these all videos whatever I have covered these all topics is going to help you right, for cracking any interviews. So without delaying, let's get started. So in this video, I'll be covering the most important topics for the interview called Java 8 feature stream API. So stream API is basically the most important uh, interview questions. Okay. So they will ask you if 10 questions would be there. So out of 10, you can think of four to five questions around 50 60 percent of the questions they will ask from stream api the reason behind focusing more on stream api is because everywhere uh, while doing coding or developing any kind of project you will be uh, using lots more time you know these features okay so i will give a quick introduction about stream api and then we will move into the all these functionality that already i have covered for you guys and this is based because i'm uploading this video because uh, of my friend's request so if you guys also need more videos so please do request your uh, you know whatever topics you want me to cover so that i will cover so as you can see there are lots of uh, uh, you know practice i have done or you can see i have covered most of the things in this uh project project structure as you can see a queues design pattern dsl go so lots of things are there but uh if you request me to upload if you like my video then subscribe obviously i will cover all those topics and these all are very important for the interview okay so let's understand what is stream api so basically it is a feature introduced in java 8 that provides a powerful and functional way to process collection of data such as array list or uh, uh, other collections you know data structure it allows developer to perform various aggregate okay various aggregate filtering mapping and other data manipulation operations okay so the main goal of the stream api is to enable parallel processing of data and abstract away the complexity dealing with interactions okay and low level looping constructs so these all are the you know the uh, points that i have taken from the web it's not my own words okay so let's understand how it happens so there will be two operations basically perform the stream api one is what intermediary operation and one is another one is terminal operations okay so what is intermediary operation so it is an operation that occurs on a stream and returns a new stream as a result so whenever we are performing any intermediary operation so it will do what it will process the data and it will returns a new stream so it will not uh, that new re uh, stream will contains the result okay so whatever the functionalities we have applied whatever the function we have applied whatever the logic we have written in the interview operations so those uh, resultant data set will be uh, uh, that will be collected as a stream itself okay and after that we have multiple uh, options either we can perform the terminary operation or we can process furthermore okay so lots of things we can do basically okay so let's get understand what is uh, uh, intermediary and what is terminal operation so you, uh, i hope you can you have understood right so see i have employee object okay there are six employee objects so they have different employee id some have a uh, same name or you can say a different name and their department some employee working in the same department their salary so 
so these are the employees properties okay so you can have any kind or any anything any object you can whether you it can be user student anything okay so what we are doing we are putting into the list okay so you may ask why you are putting in the list because stream api uh, as i told you right it it you can perform all these stream api functionalities on the list only okay list arrays of other data sources it's not directly will be applied on any object okay so this is the reason and that is the reason we can say uh, we have added into the list so we have created the empty uh, list array list and then we have added each employee so you can say why three here four employee object here and why those e5 and e6 employee here right might be asking the question so i will be telling all these things later in this video okay what will happen so let's get started with the first uh, intermediary operation called filter so what filter will do you know right what is filter so in day to day and daily life also we have observed or we have heard about the term called filter whether you are uh, whether you are using or you can say uh, when we are collecting water from a pump right there will be a filter what it will do it will uh, it will segregate or you can say it will remove all the dirt particles right and then it will give you the fresh water right this is the work of the filter or you can say uh, if you want to uh, you know if you have a bunch of uh, balls right or any containers if you want to filter out based on their identity or based on their color then what we'll do we will collect all the uh, uh, objects or all the things that is present in the container we'll process it right and red color of the ball will keep one side white one side black one side so this is called filtering out right so uh, there will be a uh, different different kinds of object different different kinds of things inside one particular container but when we do filter we just process the entire container and start collecting based on our requirements okay so this is what we will basically will do right so where what we have here so as you can see we have uh, uh, employee objects of uh, multiple you know uh, their their entity is different from each other right yeah. some some having the salary of 5k some having the 500 and 1500 all these things but if you want or some some are working at me department it department and finance but if you want a particular employee that is working only in a admin department or you want to filter out an employee which name starts with s okay so there must be the requirement right uh, there may be right so we cannot uh, tell like uh, it cannot happen right so that for that particular reason we have the call function call filter okay so this is what we are performing intermediary operation so stream when we call the stream employee dot stream it will create a pipeline a stream pipeline okay so it's a pipeline where all these data this uh, raw data will be streamed okay then on that particular raw data we are applying this filter functionalities inside this function functionalities we are uh, we have this logic so basically whatever you want as i explained so those things we can apply here if st what it will do it will collect each objects okay consider it as a student object first student object and then it will uh, get the employee name and then it will try to find i will try to match with the employee name which whose name starts with s so here a student got get dot uh, get employed dot starts with s right so first object it is coming and it will see whether it is object is uh, object's name this employee name is uh, started starting with s or not right it is starting right so what it will do it will collect the this object student object employee object and it will 
store in another stream object so it will create an empty object and after doing this operation it will keep uh, storing this particular filtered object in that stream object empty empty stream object right so we have now uh, another stream object with the uh, where with this employee object which contains this employee object that whose name starts with Suresh S that is Suresh right now second after that it will process the next uh, object and the next employee object you can see its name start with Biranth right so, so it is not uh, you know it is not uh, true in this case because that employee name doesn't start with S right so it will get ignored okay it will get ignored now another time another uh, loop will go and it will keep continuing right so it will see whether this uh, another object student object's name starts with s or not yes it is true right in this case what it will happen it will take this particular object and store into that stream object where we have already one object right so likewise this will uh, process the entire data and this is how this happens now now what we have we have a result of another stream object right so either we can directly collect in the same list right or directly we can print in the console so to print on the console we have terminal operation called foris so we have lot more terminal operation collect first count so those things is also there so for each so what it will do it will iterate the entire stream object and print on the console so if you run this particular piece of code and what i will do let's run okay so what will happen so if you see here we have a employee object three employee object whose name starts with s right see what are those Suresh, Syam and Sraddha so you can see Suresh, Syam and Sraddha these are the three names started with what yes right and one more thing we can do I just I will show you this is out just and here this line so that it will be very easy to understand right if you now run it so you can see we have these three objects right now what i will do before i put it here that is filter. so if you want to count we we as i told there are multiple or many more terminal uh, terminal operations right so same thing we can do it here just copy this paste here and do simply this terminal operation count so what will happen so the same this uh, resultant stream of uh, result or stream uh, object it will give us the count on the terminal so if you run it now so we can get three right we'll get three so so do we, do we have to store it into long now we will print this one run it now we'll get the result as three so we are getting three so hope you understood right so this way we can use in different different kind of scenarios okay so now uh, let's understand about map functionalities so map is again as you can see right mapping so one particular behavior of the object to another right or mapping a particular current object into different form right 
so we are creating multiple forms of the same object right so for example uh, let see we have a uh, employee name suresh we want to form it into uh, upper case right we have a small case then we can do it that way also and uh, that is one of the case right or if we want to perform something like you know we have the list of employee right here list we want to convert into a map that also we can do right so based on some uh, you know criteria like employee that uh, id would be the key or name would be a key right that way also we can do so these all things or all those operations can be achieved using map functionalities of stream area so here as you can see we have what we are doing we are converting uh, what will we convert to a square salary value right so what we are doing we are just converting we are squaring this salary using the map functionalities okay so see here what we are doing so see we are streaming the employee list okay and then what we are doing we are performing this is map is also termi intermediary operation okay what we are doing we are taking one employee and getting his salary and doing multiplied with the same salary means 500 into 500 right so this is nothing as squaring up right so it will what it will give see as you can see below side of this screen stream of double so the return type of this uh, nav functionalities would be double and this will be stored in the another stream object as i told right the resultant object will be stored in the another stream object okay so this is a stream of double so from a stream of employee we are getting what a stream of double now what we are doing we are performing the collect operation we are in, we are collecting into so see it, as you can see performs a mutable reduction operation on the element of this stream using collector right so uh, this is a terminal operation as i told right so collect is also terminal operation count is also terminal operation so, so what we are doing either uh, as i told either we can print on the console using the for each loop or we can collect it into as as a uh, as per our requirement so we are collecting it to and converting it to list right so from stream of double we are collecting it as a uh, list right so with the help of collectors we are uh, calling to list so what it will do it will convert that particular stream of data into the list and it will return so we have list of double object right so if you print it here so salary so that this video may be longer okay so please watch the entire video to understand the entire functionalities okay so see as you can see the result right 20 what is this 2.5 lakh and this this is the value of after squaring of this employee salary okay so you are saying why four here we have six employee object but why we are seeing four because we have added this four employee list into employee object into this employee list okay and this is i have added for the different purpose i will tell you that one okay so for now see the result so this is how we are doing this map operation so let's uh, take another example of the map functionalities so what is our requirement printing true or false based on given criteria print true if salary is greater than or equal to thousand else false so what is our requirement if the salary of this employee is greater than thousand or equal to thousand then it should be true so as you can see in this uh, employee object three in this four employee object we'll have we are having four three employee whose salary is greater than or equal to thousand 
right and one is 500 right so the three three times it should be true and one time false right so see here we have what we are doing we are streaming the we are creating the pipeline right stream pipeline and then we are performing this intermediary operation intermediary operation well map so now this is the square you know yeah here the same right so what we are doing what we are saying if sts means student dot get salary greater than or equal to thousand okay so it will give us what true boolean of stream of boolean so greater than or equal to three uh, thousand then what do we want to do we are applying the uh, terminal operation called for each so it will print the all the result set on the console right we can collect it as uh, if you want we can collect also all the result set so for to collect what we will do if you want to collect into this list of boolean object so what we will do result set instead of dot for each we will just remove it and we will say collect okay to list right so collector of to list so it what it will do it will store all the results set into the list object so now we will do sys out result set we print it now so you can see here false first is false true 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 so if you see here this employee object first object having 500 salary as 500 so this is false because we have condition greater than or equal to thousand but these three are true okay. so we are printing true 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 so this is also uh, we can we have achieved using the map right so there would be multiple scenarios where you can think of using the appropriate functionalities of the stream api okay now what we have done here getting salary of each employee right so uh, we just want to get salary only salary of the employee right not all the entire details so what we have done what we have done emp dot get salary so it will just get the salary okay and uh, it will be restored into the stream object and then we have uh, collecting as a list so this will be list of salary only okay so if you call it so see we'll get all the salary details see salary list of salary so enter not this one this one employee salary so entire salary details we are getting here right so guys uh, this is the way basically so to perform this map functionalities right so hope you have liked this video and um, i know i may not be a professional video maker so there would be some issues right so don't worry if you have liked the thing is uh, content should be okay language and voice doesn't matter how we are uh, explaining right the main thing is the people should be understanding the concept right and hope you have understand till now and if you have really understand if you like my video so please do subscribe and please comment in the comment video if you want me to make more videos and we have lot more functionalities still to cover so in this video i'll be ending off here itself and if you show your support and your love obviously i will upload more and more videos thank you thank you so much guys and thanks for subscribing my channel and thank you so much bye bye